I'm kind of getting to feel like I'm not really getting what I paid for. And that's a pretty bold statement. But yeah, if you're paying that much money for something, you shouldn't have to fiddle around with it. Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. It's a bit of an overcast today, today, but uh, still a good day to go out and ride. Today, we're gonna be talking about my long-term review of the Ruach Atlas 4.0 helmet. So, as you may be aware, I, before I had this helmet, I had the Shoei RF1200. And this is the first time I've worn a Ruach helmet. I loved the design of the Ruroks, you know, the marketing, the hype, <laughs> but it was always plagued by production issues and quality issues and a bunch of other stuff. So that always kept me from buying a Ruroc. That coupled with the fact of previously only had a DOT safety rating. But now because they have the new ECE rating, the production issues didn't seem to be as bad. I figured, okay, this maybe this is gonna be the one that I'll give it a try and give it a shot. So I've worn this helmet for a couple thousand miles and I think I've definitely got enough time with it to have a, more of a long-term review with it. The first question I will answer is, is this still gonna be my daily driver? And the answer to that question is yes. Am I looking for another helmet to wear? No. Am I happy with this one? Generally, yes. But there are definitely some things I am not happy with on this helmet. As I mentioned before in the first impressions video, there were definitely some issues like, namely the pin lock visor not fitting and it still kind of doesn't seem like it fit perfectly. It still feels like it's really tight on there, like tighter than it should be. Pads are still popping in and out. Uh, when I, namely when I take off the helmet, like pads will pop out. And so you just gotta pop them back in. So that's annoying. But I mean, everything is functional. Everything is fine. It's just those small quality of life issues. Uh, the other thing that I will mention that is a really the biggest annoyance is this chin guard. No matter what I do, the chin guard refuses, like absolutely refuses to stay in. So there's a little clip here that you're supposed to push in and there's probably like a little, uh, I don't know what to call it, but like a little circular mounting point that the bracket's supposed to slip into. But this chin guard does not stay in at all. It, it's constantly coming out. If I just take off the helmet, I put on the helmet, it just refuses to stay in. Uh, the old, really, the only things holding in the chin guard are the two points on the sides. That's it. Otherwise, this front piece is just garbage. It just doesn't do anything at all. My biggest complaint with the Ruach is essentially the mounting point. Things just do not want to stay mounted in the helmet. So like the pads, the chin guard, at the end of the day, are those huge grievances? No. But it, when you have to fix those on a constant basis, that gets very annoying. Especially with how much you pay to get this helmet. That might be a deal breaker for some people. You know, you're paying hundreds of dollars for a supposedly premium product and you pay that much money to not have to fiddle with things constantly. You're paying to have quality products that you can just put on and be happy with and it has all of the features and benefits and everything that you want and not have to mess around with it. I'm kind of getting to feel like I'm not really getting what I paid for and that's a pretty bold statement. But yeah, if you're paying that much money for something, you shouldn't have to fiddle around with it. But in general, the helmet does feel good. It does feel secure. It does feel safe. It feels comfortable. I do really like the, the fit lock. So that's uh, super convenient and nice, easy to put on, easy to take off. Helmet still looks really nice. Still really love the color. 
All in all, am I as happy with the helmets as I was when I did my first impressions video? No, but I'm also not unhappy with it to the point where I'm getting, I'm looking for a new helmet. So if you are on the market to buy a new helmet, I would still be wary of getting a real rock. Unless you're, you, you're really bought into the company, the style, unless like those are the things that you're really going for. There are plenty of other fantastic helmets that are comparable that I would be very surprised if they had the same type of quality issues. Like I said, I'm not unhappy with it. I'm just not as happy with it as I once was. Those minor quality of life things that I have to deal with constantly that are just breaking down the user experience and satisfaction that I have with it. In terms of like the sound and everything else, it still sounds great. It's still a fairly quiet helmet and the cargo unit and the speakers, they all sound great. They all work with it. I have gotten used to how big the helmet is, so that's not really an issue anymore. But it still is a big helmet. <laughs> uh, especially when I look back at my old videos and looking at the showy comparisons, I'm like, man, like my head looks huge now. <laughs> I have not worn this helmet for more than like four hours in a go, and it's been fine for that period of time. Like I haven't had any hot spots or anything like that, but maybe when I wear it for my trip to Vegas, uh, we'll see how does it feel wearing this helmet the entire day. But I figure if you, if you put it out for four hours and be pretty comfortable with it, then eight hours is probably not gonna be that big of a deal. I mean, I think any helmet's gonna start to get uncomfortable at that period of time, so. So with that, everybody, let me know if you have any comments or questions regarding the Rurok Atlas 4.0 helmet. Be happy to answer them. As always, everybody, I'll be brave, do good, take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. I will continue to ride behind these horse trailers and be stuck. <laughs>